Hi there YouTube, welcome again inside my studio. So as you know, today is Vinyl Wednesdays, which means we're gonna use this today. This is Jazz 2000 and it has a few artists inside here. So it's kind of like a compilation between uh, artists. Uh, two songs really caught my attention here. One starts with a double bass, and I'm a super fan of a double bass sound. And the other one is an organ sound which I sample, so I sample those two songs and I cut those two intros of the song. As you know, I start with my drums. I normally load up a program that has already a snare and a kick, but I try to find a rhythm that I like and then record it in. I went with something like that and just recorded that in. And after that, it was just a question of laying the samples over the drums. So these are the chops that I took from the record. So this program is actually pitched down by 12 semitones, an octave. These are the original cuts. But this is the sample that I used. As I said, I pitched everything down an octave. So that's the sample. And that's looping with the drum beat. I find myself over and over again just going into this type of beat which is the, the most simplistic beat making style where I use just one sample or two samples but it sounds so good that I I said this in previous videos if it sounds good then I'm gonna do it I don't really care if it only has one sample or two samples I don't care about that if it sounds good it sounds good and I'm finding myself more and more just kind of like using one or two samples in the song. So that was it. I found that cut. I used that cut, looped it over and over again. I knew I wanted to use a double bass. That was the whole purpose of sampling that double bass. I tried a few sequences, but I ended up using this one. So yeah, that's it. So I got my uh, I got my sample. I have my drums and I have my bass. Uh, I took a, a small cut from the record as well. It's a horn. You know, I used the the technique of the delay on the horn. Just so very basic stuff from Boom Bap. Just having a delay on a horn. That's it. Uh, the the actual sample is a bit. The cut is a bit bigger, but I trimmed it down just to have that just small uh, cut of the of the horns. Put that all together and you have the beat. So this is the meat and bones of the beat. It, it feels like a 90s boom bap style beat, which is perfect. You know, it, it really sounds like a 90s boom bap. The, the lo-fi quality is all in there. I didn't do much to the samples. Uh, the main sample has a high pass filter. The bass doesn't have any filters at all. The only thing I have here is on the output, I have a compressor and an EQ, and that's basically it, just 
lowering the highs, the, the snares are filtered, the kicks are filtered, uh, you know, just always taking a little bit of the highs, you end up having this boom bap, 90s boom bap type of lo-fi beat, which is the, the thing that I love doing. And it went really well, I really enjoy it. There's, it's not a complex beat, it's not something like I do with the Arturia, which is in the back right there, so today's Vinyl Wednesdays. I have the synth there chilling in the back. It's gonna get ready after this for the Saturday. I'm gonna put out a video on it. So the videos that I'm making with the Arturia are much more complex than a, a beat like this with samples. And because samples, I think, because with a synthesizer, you can always play it over and over again until you get the loop perfect. And if you need an extra sound, you can just play it again and try to find another sound. You change the sound, you find another sound. With the sample, you only have that cut, and there's no way of you getting that musician to play another cut for you. It's that sample and that sample alone. And that makes beat making a lot harder than people might think. You know, you, you, there's, no, there's no trying the, the, the sample again. You know, that's the sample, you need to work with it. And sampling is hard, it's not an easy thing. Yeah, if you hear my beats from the uh, Arturia are much more complete. They have an intro, they have an outro, there are changes, a lot of changes because you do you can create different things. And I can I can definitely put things on top of the beats that I do here on Vinyl Wednesdays, but I I try to keep myself just to be sampling from the record, you know. Uh, Vinyl Wednesdays once again, thank you so much for watching my videos and for following the channel. Uh, Peace and love from Portugal. Keep making music. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to watch my videos on the Mini Brute electronic boom bap stuff, which I'm a fan of. I do a lot of this, but I really love listening to artists that make boom bap with electronic sounds. So that's it. Yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys. Goodbye. <laughs>